Hello, welcome to Clarity Design. Uh, this is a follow-on tutorial from the motion pass tutorial that I did previously. Uh, this tutorial is going to show you how you can uh, add keyframes to motion path objects. So uh, mixing two types of uh, animation data together. Um, it's actually very easy to do when you know what you're looking at. So uh, without further ado, let's get on. I'm working in 2013, because I didn't say that, um, so that you know uh, what version this is. Um, but actually it hasn't changed since uh, I think before 2010. So anyway. Um, so what we're going to do first of all is uh, I'm going to select this object, I'm going to move it to a slightly different location. Um, and the animation data I've got at the moment starts on frame 21 for the uh, motion path. Um, and the first piece of data I'm going to put in is where I want it to finish up, which is actually about, um, well, I'll finish it up on frame 30 here. So I'm just going to keyframe uh, that position by right uh, selecting all these uh, options here from translate X down to rotate Z. And I'm going to key select it by right clicking and go to key selected. Um, you can see the color of that goes green, meaning that there's two inputs on it. Um, and then it also adds these two um, extra channels at the bottom which allow us to blend between the two different kinds of animation data there. So that's what we'll be using to actually control the animation a little bit. And then I need to go right back to the start of my scene and I'm going to move this uh, ship, or cone in this case, straight down to the bottom. Rotate it as well if I wanted to. I'm not going to this time, let's just move it off over here somewhere. And we'll uh, we'll blend those two together, so I just need to keyframe those as well. Now, it's only translate Y uh, and um, X and Z that I'm using, but I'll just keyframe all of them uh, for the sake of speed. So key selected. So I've got these two keyframes now that are working, um, but you can see that as I move across, my motion path is no longer working. So to make that work, I need to switch these to 1, so value 0 to 1. So 1 is on. Oops, <laughs> type 2. Um, so 1 is on and uh, 0 is off. So you can see now it's running along the path, but it's not doing the start of the animation. So now I need to blend between the two. So um, let's say just after this, so about frame 35, we'll have that keyframe to 1, so it's on the motion path. So I'm going to select those. And this is going to put the first key in, so key selected. That's going to go that lovely salmon pink colour. And then uh, round about the start, actually I'll go right back to frame one. Let's change those to zero. Um, and through the time, so just key select those in the same way. Select, right click, key selected. Um, so between the two, it's blending between one and zero uh, to make a smooth transition between the two. Um, bits of animation. So that looks like this. Okay, so we could get finer control of it, we could play around a little bit more with that animation, but that's basically how you can blend together an object on a motion path with a keyframed object and, uh, and start using both bits of data together. I hope that's been useful for you. Um, just a little note that if you had a character that was walk walking along um, and you had a lot of keyframe data on the walking along, um, you wouldn't be able to attach that walking character if it was just a single polygon to a, a path and then uh, keep the keyframe data of the walking cycle at the same time. You need to use something in between it to make that happen. Um, and so what you'd use is a locator and you'd parent the locator to, or what you could use uh, is a locator, and you could parent the locator to the object and attach the locator to the path um, and therefore not assigning um, the motion path directly to the object, meaning the object could keep its walking cycle or whatever else it was. So just a little added benefit there. So it gets a bit more complicated, but that's starting to think about rigging. But there you go. Um, hopefully those tools and that information is going to be helpful to you. Hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Good luck. Yeah.